So in the last 10 years, I've spent a good amount of time digging into books, reading, researching, uh, working with mentors and kind of really working on the inside out, so to speak. And there have been hundreds of aha moments and a lot of them have been related to craft. And one particular one that kind of stood out for me when I read it, I was like, boom, mind blown. I wish I had known this in my 20s. Things would have been very different if I was able to apply that. And that was really about this whole thing that everything that comes out of me or everything that is created by me or everything, every idea I have, thought I have, everything does not have to be or everything I um, sing or create or play does not have to be fantastic to begin with. And uh, this is, um, I mean, this is something that I heard about how Steve Tyler spoke about um, the way Aerosmith functioned. And every week they would have this meeting where they were encouraged to bring their worst ideas, the one most embarrassing ones, the ones that they wish they didn't have. But then very vulnerably and very courageously, they would bring it to the table. And this weekly meeting was called Dare to Suck, which sounds very interesting. And they would bring these ideas together. And nine out of 10 times, they would be those kind of ideas, which um, probably were not worth considering. But one out of 10 times, it would lead to songs like um, Dude Looks Like a Lady or Love in the Elevator. And I was like really blown by this because uh, I really felt that it allows me to kind of give me permission to kind of grow into the whole journey and not expect that everything that is written or everything that uh, is uh, sung or everything that is being learned has to be fantastic all the time. So give, giving myself permission uh, to not be that great and kind of grow into things. So I wanted to share the story with you. If you guys have uh, any stories like that to share, I'd love to hear that.